All right, welcome back to more Hellblade. Uh, let's continue where we stopped. Okay, so next I'm pretty sure what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be heading over to cross the bridge. That's supposed to be taking us into Helheim, the city of the dead. Okay, looks like the fight is starting. Oh. Even more of these guys. So something's happened to... Uh, something's happened to her arm. I'm not sure what's going on here, but... Uh, These guys look way stronger than we do. guy was supposed to be attacking. Does not bargain, does not reason. 
It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The dark rot will grow each time you fail. If the rot reaches Senua's head, her, quests, her quest is over. And all progress will be lost. Okay, I guess that means that you're only allowed to fail a, a certain amount of times. If you fail more than that, then you're going to have to start. thought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. She has to challenge two gods first. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open it? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. Who she choose first? One of them will kill her, I know. Honestly. <laughs> A couple of people, uh, a number of people, have been mentioning that the problem with the, that the problem with the, with Hellblade is that it gives you no sense of direction, doesn't tell you what you're supposed to be doing or any of that stuff. But uh, you don't need that. You don't even need a radar with all these uh, schizophrenic voices in your head telling you what you're supposed to be doing. Well, they're not exactly telling you, but they're they're talking about this the whole time. Uh, if you're paying attention, you don't need any directions. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her, you must bargain. Yeah, we've heard this one already. So yeah, like I was saying, if you're listening to the schizophrenic voices in her head, you really don't need much direction. You'll be able to figure out what you're supposed to do and uh, where to go. Valraven, ancestor of the Seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward what we're supposed to be doing, but uh, I'm worried. I'm worried about fighting a... Uh... Especially with the camera angle, I'm worried about fighting a boss who uses illusions. We just may die a few times to him. It's 
take a look around. Uh, I don't think this is the kind of game to have uh, collectibles and upgrades and things like that. I think it's just telling the story. Telling a singular story the way it's supposed to be. So either way, we'll, we'll just look around a little bit either way. There's still a lot of questions that uh, I have that are unanswered at this point. Um, who was Sanawa? Is this an afterlife event or is it all still in her mind? Because how can she hope to cross into the land of the dead if she herself is a living mortal? So we're yet to find out. We could well find that uh, she's actually dead too. I wouldn't be surprised to, to see that later on. Yeah, I see that over there, but first, uh, let's go take a look up here. What's that? It's a door. No, it's a bridge. No, it's not. Push it. Push it. Push it. What do you think will happen? Come on. Come on, idiot. Come on. Push it. She did it. She did it. She did it. Let's take a look up here and see what's uh, what's going on. Uh, I think that's the door to the boss. But uh, before we go messing around in there, let's... Uh, what is this? Okay, it doesn't uh, seem to be doing much. Another one of those puzzle games. Okay, so illusion hides this way, so we need to look for something like this in the environment. At least that's what I'm thinking. Something tells me it has something to do with this. Okay, let's look around here slowly and carefully. My powers of observation uh, are not the greatest at this point. Something tells me the answer is up here. Where? There's nothing on this rock. Oh.
there we go. It's funny. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? Once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. I don't think we can climb up here, but uh, just wanted to take a look. Gotta tell you, uh, I'm really not looking forward to fighting this boss. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. Okay, there's nothing here but uh, dead bodies sacrificed on the altar. as quickly as I wanted to right there. I do notice that uh, after defeating the enemies, uh, the environment opened up and it's all nice and bright. So let's go forward. out of the ordinary here except that you can climb up here that's what it looks like except that uh, we're not being allowed to climb up here yet but I see that you can cross over to the other side all right Seen truth. Look 
Okay, let's uh, let's look around and try to find the raven. Uh, let's start from back here. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. This is going to be my biggest challenge in this game, is just uh, noticing the environment. Oh, is that them? See if we can do it from uh, this side coming in. This is probably it, but uh, we have to figure out how to do it. Maybe onto something here, or I may just be totally missing it. Okay, let's let's see if we're able to climb up here right now. No, we're not. I was thinking maybe we can climb up here and get to the top of that ledge there. I'm pretty sure it's those three. There is no way to get up there. This can't be it. Can't be it. It has to be this puzzle right, right up here.
Okay, I'm a bit stumped. I gotta tell you that. something to do with this, but I can't quite figure it out. Maybe I need to think outside the box. Or maybe we're looking in the totally wrong place. here with this little puzzle. It's going to take me a while to figure out because uh, my initial thought is that uh, it has something to do with these three, but then it doesn't seem practical. Because we're supposed to, it says uh, align the ravens with the mark. Is that thing up there actually moving? Yes, it moves. All right, uh, we're about half an hour in here, so I'm going to take a break, uh, refresh my brain, and uh, hopefully when I come back, it'll click, and uh, we'll move forward. Uh, we'll be right back with more Hellblade. 